So in this video, we're going to look at how we can add the Krita AI Diffusion. Now, Krita is a professional pre and open source uh, a painting program. So if you're a Krita user, and you might already know this, that the, uh, with the AI, Krita now have a plugin called the Krita AI Diffusion. So to get the Krita AI Diffusion in the link below, you can click and it's landing you on the GitHub page here. So here in the GitHub page, uh, all you need to do is uh, download from here. And then installation, once you go to the installation, you can see the installation for uh, Windows is very simple here. You can go there. But with this example, we're going to look at how uh, we can add these uh, plugins into a uh, Mac and uh, the plugin once you download it uh, make sure to unzip it and then once you unzip it uh, you can install Krita and launch Krita so make sure to update your Krita to 5.2.1 which will enable you to use the uh, Krita AI diffusion plugin so once you're here, the first thing uh, to install that, uh, once you unzip your file, come to the settings and you have the manage resources. So once you click on the manage resources, you are on this little pop-up uh, uh, box here, the floating window here, and then uh, you can see you have the open resource folder. So in the open resource folder, once you click that, it's open up all the resource folder here. I look the fo look for the folder which is called the Py or Python Krita Py Krita. So open that one and make sure to copy the two files inside the GIF unzip folder into this location. So that's all you need to do. Once you have that, you can simply close this and also close this. Now that you have that, make sure to go to Krita and then Preference. So once you click on the preferences here, now you have this uh, menu here under the uh, configure of Krita. So you go down to Python plugin manager. Once you click on the Python plugin manager, you can see here, uh, once you put it in the folder, AI image diffusion. So that's the one that uh, you need to enable it. So once you enable that, you can click OK and then come to the settings. And then you can see the dockers. Now, since the dockers are uh, inactive because we have not created a new image, so we're going to create that right here. So cl click on create new image, and then you can type in uh, the width and the height or go with the default and then uh, create your image. So you can zoom in out using the middle mouse button. So once you have that, come to the uh, settings here and then you can see the dockers. So here I have already activated mine. So you just simply uh, activate that and it will appear here. So in the settings, dockers and then AI image generator. So it will be right here. But first, once you install that, you uh, go to the preference and you activate that. Make sure to quit Krita and um, open up again. So once you do that, you can see from the settings here, uh, dockers, and you have the AI image generator. So it's right here. So you can just type in your uh, image here. Now, once you have that, uh, you can see here, uh, it's us saying that it's not connected to the server. So all you have to do is click this and you select the options to download it. Now, if you want to download all this, it's about 10 gig, uh, less than 10 gig, but you can do selection if you know what you are doing. Now you can see here, uh, you have different digital art. Now once that, you can see here, you have the cinematic pop photo, you have the digital art, you have the digital artwork, a cinematic photo and XL here. So you can select any of this and then you type in your uh, prompt here to generate your image. Then you can use the strength here. You can also add something from here, the layers, background or whatever you want to put it right here. And then in the image, you want to scribble, you want to align. These are the ones that being installed. If you don't install all of this, you won't see it. But here I've installed all of them here. Now. Uh, once you have that, you can simply click on Generate. It takes uh, a while because of I'm using CPU, not GPU. It's good to use a GPU power so that you'll be able to um, generate faster. 
Now, there you go. That's how we can install or add the Krita AI Diffusion plugins into Mac. Thank you for watching.